The 10 test indoor hockey series between both the men's and women's teams of Namibia and South Africa concluded on Sunday. In the ladies' series, Namibia got the better of South Africa, dominating the series with two wins, two draws and a loss. In the opening game, Namibia beat South Africa 2-0, while the second game, Namibia once again walked away with the win, beating SA 2-1. Day 2 saw Namibia drawing in both their games. The first was a 2-2 draw, followed by a high-scoring game where it was 4-all. The series were pretty good because it's the first time like in 18 months that we play a competitive tournament again. Because the last time we played was the Indoor World Cup qualifier last year in April when we beat South Africa 2-0 in the finals. And uh, so to play again after 18 months, yes, it's a long period. And we only had two months to prepare for this. But uh, we're quite happy that we could win the series. In the men's five-taste series, Namibia made history in their opening game by beating South Africa for the first time 6-5. Game two was another high encounter that saw a draw between the two countries, making it 6-6 in the end. In game three and four, it was the number one African country in indoor hockey, taking the bragging rights by beating Namibia 7-3 twice. The final game gave South Africa the series victory as they took down the host by 6-3. I've been part of this men's team for 16 years and it's quite a long while to wait but these bunch of boys were absolutely amazing. Um, they stepped up, we brought it to the party, uh, we let it slip almost in the end there but uh, Nico Jay stepped up and gave us the winning goal at the end and I'm proud of all of them. They just stuck to the game plan and it worked. We started off really poorly. We went back and obviously looked at our video footage. We started fixing a couple of things in terms of our press how we looked at the Bonchaka, Bonchaka, and then we got better game after game after game. And there's obviously a process in terms of our final uh, preparation for the World Cup, and there's obviously part of a process in terms of going forward for the next couple of months. All four teams will now continue their preparations for the Indoor Hockey World Cup, which will take place from the 5th to the 11th of February next year in Pretoria. For NBC Sport, Crystal Kutzer, Vintuk.